the simple fact of the matter is, is that if we keep burning our fossil fuels, they're going to run out and we're going to need another source of energy. So my research group is developing ways to generate electricity from hydrogen and oxygen in a fuel cell where the only waste product that we produce is water. And to do that, what we do is we design molecular catalysts that work in the same way as expensive platinum metals that we currently use. Our molecular catalysts are based on a concept called frustrated Lewis pairs, uh, where you have uh, a Lewis acid and a Lewis base and like all acids and bases they want to react together. Now what we do is we make our acids and base really big and bulky so they can't actually get close enough to react. And what we find is if we put hydrogen in between them that Lewis acid base pair will rip that hydrogen molecule apart. What our results have shown is that if we do this frustrated Lewis pair splitting of hydrogen at the same time as applying an electrical voltage with an electrode, we can, instead of generating split up bits of hydrogen, we can actually pull out electrons from the hydrogen molecule, leaving behind protons. And that is the key reaction within a hydrogen fuel cell. The model fuel cell cars are a visual demonstrator uh, what we actually generate in an experiment is a lot of on-screen data and some numerical uh, numbers which are not very exciting, but to actually visualise the fuel cell car in, in action I think is quite important. Uh, and you know, they look like they're going fairly slowly, but if you scale them up to the size of a car then they're actually travelling at about 40 miles an hour. So we can now start to think about removing the economic barriers to putting a fuel cell into every moving vehicle on the planet. So if you're sat in a traffic jam on the M25 and you just think about what's coming out of the exhaust pipes of those cars, there's carbon dioxide, which is a greenhouse gas, there's oxides of nitrogen which cause respiratory illnesses for people in towns and cities. With our system, all that's coming out of the exhaust is water.